perspective that we start accepting things that is very important so acceptance that what i know acceptance of what i want to learn what i want to reach out to unknown so first we have to unlearn lot of things when we travel on this journey so as i started my career as a trainee became a teacher coordinator and principal in the very first school so this training gave me a lot of opportunities to improvise my own version uh, come along with all the teammates sometimes the trainings will not give you direct answers also there will be lot of situations where we have to use our own attitude our own value system that how we reciprocate when we are in a team or when a parent is coming and talking to us so that's where your importance of being a good human being is the key so what i feel that is very important that how you accept the differences and at the same time you are respecting each individual so many of us we always feel that we the parents are the first teachers i always question why when the child is born the child is showing all the symptoms of crying or you know uh, doing different body languages signs and symbols that yes i am hungry i am feeling you know alone the child starts crying that very first symptom of crying which doctor also ensures that the brain is working fine so that is there in the child so first teacher i always said that the child himself or herself is the first teacher he knows how to express he knows how to ask for somebody's help or need so they they always have that body language or they always have that expression when they are born even if the language is not built at that that time but mother or the father or the caregivers who or whoever is there in the family they immediately understand okay this is what the need the child wants your attention or maybe he is asking for something so first teacher is the child who has that natural inquiries in them second teacher is going to be the parents so that's very important where the parenting role comes in the picture so as a parent we always have that conflict my father mother they have taught these things in this manner so i'll impart exactly in my child that's not going to work in today's scenario what we are using wearing going or interacting with people the world has changed now this global platform is one of the examples we are interacting from different parts of the country at the same time which was not possible almost 50 years ago or 60 years ago it was not there so world is evolving changing every minute and we need to understand the importance of changing our own learning patterns we need to erase the previous knowledge we need to uh, incorporate lot of new ideas in our own approaches so the key word here is creativity that never ends in every domain you if you look at the scenario now marketing has changed a different uh, scenario altogether it has become now digital marketing which has been considered as more effective marketing these days so big holdings don't work anymore so i am setting up a new school in faridabad so what we are trying to achieve here is we are inviting parents teachers just to see the school and experience an event there and through these events we are having good registrations during this you know different time zones also parents are asking for uh, giving a confirmed seat in this odd time and of course they want to start these classes from april onwards at a physical level so the whole world is throwing some challenge on us and triggering somewhere in us that are we ready to face the future because there will be unforeseen situations so what we need to prepare ourselves or our children or as a parent are we prepared enough to face these challenges and overcome with some solution with no time so vaccine has come i think this is the one of the uh, biggest example when we collaborate the whole world was doing lot of researches to find a solution to deal with corona virus at in this short duration they have come up with a permanent solution that this is something which we have created and even if there is a mutated virus in times to come will definitely create something better than this so every time when whenever there is a situation comes be at learning part so everybody was focusing on knowledge i think knowledge is not alone sufficient to deal any kind of situation in your life or world around you the key factor is your skills your concepts your application of knowledge that is more important your action is more important 
that is your complete education and that that comes only from these three different sources so firstly i said the child he himself or herself you know they know that what exactly we need to find out for ourselves then the parents role come in the picture or the grandparents or the neighborhood that is their second teacher the third teacher when the child goes to a school in that specially prepared environment where the teacher has a knowledge of learning milestones what are the challenges what are the situations the teacher is going to elaborate or create artificially in the child's life where the child is bound to deal with that situation and overcome with some solutions there are uh, situations where a child has to do research and come up with their own solutions be it ecological world or any situation you are giving in that scenario they should justify this is the solution i think in my opinion is the right solution and they have to justify their own uh, solutions so that's where you are giving that articulation to the child that expression that is very important the strongest point in times to come that the language or expression that is the key factor where you can deal with lot of troublesome situations in your life and the second thing which is very important here is how do you prepare yourself emotionally physically intellectually to find the solution in the quickest span of time without wasting your time without maybe having you know maximum uh, solutions from others you yourself should be capable enough to overcome with your own problems in fact you should be capable enough to handle others problems also everyone can be a counselor with proper training guidance unlearn certain things and learn something new and thirdly when the teachers are fully trained they are giving all the solutions they are giving that scaffolding i won't say that they are the ones who will give all the answers in fact the, the right teachers are ones those who ask right questions which ignite some thinking in children you don't have to say that suppose this toaster is not working why is it not working that is the key factor so let the children find out that solution okay why is it not working can i make a toaster which doesn't get affected by you know voltage fluctuations so let them find out those problems so we call it pbl problem based learning so now focus is not the stereotype learning the situation has changed over the years and we talk about the progressive learning there are ways and means by which you can ignite those thoughts so we are simply acting here as catalyst so we need to create that spark in them where they are excited to learn something new we are throwing the challenge amongst children which is age appropriate relevant and engaging enough so there are group tasks there are individual tasks then again there are massive participation so all they are experiencing in the school that is that is very wise and that is the key factor so i am seeing a lot of people are entering uh, in this room so welcome everyone again those who have just joined so i would continue with my talk here that importance of teachers training program or parenting sessions uh, that makes your better version that adds some openness in you that open mindedness is very important that global connectivity teaches us lot of different perspectives so when we say concept concept is not just about form function connection this is about respecting different perspectives and at the same time i talk about responsibilities so in the school if the children are going to experience different roles in daily routine aspects sometimes some children are given a task uh, let's say if there is a concept of supermarket so let some children handle this register and financial aspect the other children are buying vegetables and fruits sometimes they go on the other side so then deal negotiation every every element like uh, somebody mentioned here it's not about just academic they have to deal on day to day to day basis with lot of different people so here comes the role are we giving them enough platform where they are getting exposed at a very young age uh, where they feel challenged and at the same time they overcome with certain situations so it's major role on us how we train our own selves uh, we are we regulated enough where we are talking about how do you regulate your mind body and soul so our own self management skills our own thinking skills our own social skills emotional skills that play major role here so first let us be so first we need to find our better version then do and then say 
that this is what you want from children. At least minimum, uh, when we talk about moral values, it is there. We, we are empathetic. Are we really empathetic? Then we can ask children also to reflect that behavior. And simply asking won't serve the purpose. We need to create that environment where children are bound to help each other. So there's a day of friendship day, what you can create for your friend, for example. So there are certain activities which can definitely incorporate these values in them. And it should be regularly incorporated in the curriculum in such a way that we don't talk about extracurricular. This is a very much part of curriculum. So when people take art as a subject or music as a subject, they need to learn history of uh, particular music. So everything is incorporated so beautifully. It is uh, a part of our own responsibility that yes, right from the beginning, we are also molded in such a way that we don't see things in isolation. The whole world, we can't segregate ourselves on the basis of a lot of factors. We all are one, we all are united, yet we are unique in our own ways. And that training gives you that perspective that yes, we are different, but at the same time, we are striving hard to achieve the higher goals from each child or the parent. So many times parents don't open up, they don't accept the challenges, but gradually counseling plays a very important role here. When the counselors sit with the parent and they say that it's not your child, it's our child, then they start opening up gradually and then they talk about the challenges. So here, lot, it, it's very vast when you talk about learning milestones, different psychologists, those who have done a lot of researches, but that advantage definitely anyone should have and experience this journey with understanding of what is expected at this age, whether my child is really lagging behind or my child has a different pace than others. So accept that, learn from others, gradually have your own better version, contribute in the best possible manner, and don't hesitate to ask for any kind of help. People are ready to help, provided you ask for it. So the, this asking also from children, this is very much obvious these days, and we give that opportunity to children to express their needs. So there are different uh, lesson plans where you know we focus on um, how children can ask for help or admit that, yes, they are diff different, and uh, we merge age groups also, so that younger ones, can be looked after by elder ones. So empathy comes automatically in the picture. So there are a lot of things. It is very vast course. And I wish that everyone should give uh, or take advantage uh, on this platform and happy to have all the gems uh, on the board. And uh, special thanks to Halima ma'am uh, who took our time and uh, collaborated all of us and uh, trying our best to impart something good to the society to make it a fruitful journey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Rina. It was really the experience was speaking. It was not that uh, the person was speaking. Your vast experience was uh, reflected in your talk. So thank, thank you very you. much. And now, my dear friends, this is the time when we come to the last uh, presentation. And that's me, Dr. Halima Sadia. You all know me uh, 